and welcome to part one. Yes, this is a very, very quick build of the 72nd scale, as you can see, P47D Razorback. Yes, so you get some sprues, you get some decals and a set of destructions. Yes, and some clear bits. So there you go. Right, let's build. Da -da. So when I got to the point of painting the base colour, I painted the base colour, which was the Hataka's interior green for USAF type aircraft. Yes. Once I did um, the base coat, I went over it again with um, some light ghost grey in the mix, just to make it just a little bit lighter. Although you're not really going to see an awful lot when the canopy is closed, because um, it is just closed anyway i put in some detail and yeah just a little bit just hopefully you'll see it through the glass with the airbrushing pretty much finished it was time to use the valizio yeah brush painting yeah just doing the uh, circuit breakers radio box and other odds and sods and when that was done i could go bang straight in with the dry brushing So once the dry brushing was finished, it was time for uh, some oils. Um, this one was using Aptilung Burnt Sienna, which is quite a dark oil, but heavily thinned down. It goes around really, really nicely into all the bits and pieces that you want, as in the nooks and crannies. So while I was happy with that, I actually went around with a slightly moistened uh, brush just to take um, the majority off because, um, yeah, you want a dirty bird, who were, um, but not too dirty. But anyway, there you go. That's taking it off with the moist brush. So with the rest of the build then, it was pretty self-explanatory. You just follow the instructions and glue, glue and glue again. Yeah, spoiler alert, everything fared, no issues. And yeah, well, what do you expect from a Tamiya kit? So with the majority of the inside done, um, I went from the outside. Yes, just spraying uh, the inside of the cowling. And that was then, uh, let me get the paint for you. It was XF4, the yellow green that was popped in there. So with the engine and the gearbox and everything else, it was airbrushed as per uh, the instructions. And yeah, I was ready to go and put it all together again. But, yes, it went together really well. And once it was finished, I've quickly dry brushed it just to give it a bit more wear and tear.
So the last thing to do with the cockpit was to put in the instrument panel, which is a quick slide in, dab of glue, and how's your father? Right, pop it in, go with the, the mating points, then just put some glue in, and away you go. It aligns itself. So, learning my mistakes from the other build, the Spitfire that I did, I decided to close it up using super glue and overdoing it slightly so when you actually put, push the sides together, you do get a bit of seepage and that will be your cure for the actual seam line. Other bits, you know, the old um, leading edge of the fin, all the rest of it was taken care of with some Tamiya Extra Thin. And that's it, that's with the build. And I'm gonna leave it like that because next on the painting stage, you'll see why. So, an excellent kit. It's 172nd, highly detailed. Buy it, buy it now.